Hello folks, my name's Becky and today I will be showing you my tiny SeaWorld pin collection. I've been collecting Disney pins since about 2014, so I'm fairly well versed in the pin trading world. But last year when SeaWorld started officially pin trading, I picked up a few pins on my Orlando trip last year. Picked up this pin bag. This was about $20 I believe and it's just a small little pin bag. I'm fairly sure you can buy bigger ones now for about $40. But this one suits my purposes well enough. So I'm going to start off with these five pins here. These are from the Rainbow Waters Mystery Collection. You buy a box and you get two pins inside each box. Um, pretty good way to start off collecting. I think the only ones I'm missing now are the Starfish, um, which is the Chaser pin, and the Flamingo. So if anyone's got those. Um, I don't really have any SeaWorld pins to trade, but I can trade you some Disney pins. This pin here I recently found. Um, I thought I'd lost it forever. I found it in the back of my cupboard. It's from my trip in 2010 when I went uh, for their Christmas celebration towards the end of November, beginning of December. So that was a really nice surprise to find that because to be fair, I don't even remember buying it. So yep, really happy to have found that one. Very pretty. These four pins here are ambassador pins, meaning um, you can only get them by trading with SeaWorld ambassadors, very similar to uh, hidden Mickey pins on Disney cast member lanyards. Um, I didn't know these were ambassador pins at the time, I just collected them because it had been raining all day, we'd got soaked, and I just thought it'd be a nice little memento of that day. <laughs> This pin I actually found in a charity shop a couple of years ago. Um, it's got the old 90s logo on there. That is my favourite logo because, you know, that is... That's a picture of my childhood right there. This beluga pin I got last year. I spent a lot of time um, hanging around Wild Arctic and talking to one of the educators there. It was a very quiet day because it was raining and it, I pretty much had the place to myself, which has never happened before. This one here was a present from my friend Nikki. She went to Florida last year and I asked her to pick me up a couple of pins. Um, there's quite a few in that design. I think I've got another one. I think I've got the dolphin one somewhere down here. Yeah, there we go. There's the dolphin one. So I've got the dolphin one here. Um, this one, I'm not sure if it came off a lanyard set or I'm not sure where that one came from, but it's one of the Shamu bars, ice cream bars, which I thought was pretty cute. Uh, popcorn, this is all rubberized. Disney would call it 3D. They call the rubbery element 3D, but I'm not sure what we'll see what call it. But I've got rubbery popcorn in there. This little dolphin down here, just a little singular dolphin. That was just a rack pin on a card. And then these are three more animal ambassador pins. They are beautiful, really chunky, heavy pins, nice quality. Uh, you've got a turtle there, you've got a dolphin, and you've got an orca. And once again, I am missing a pin, and that is the penguin pin. So if anyone has the penguin pin, hit me up. And last but not least here, I have the official pin trading logo pin which I picked up last year when pin trading started. This was another present from my friend Nikki from her trip. Um, I really like this pin. The orca in the middle reminds me a lot of a young truer, which is one of the orcas living at SeaWorld Orlando. Um, I think it must have been modelled off of a photo of him actually, because it really looks like him when he was a baby. Um, another orca pin here. This is again from my friend Nikki. Really cute with the hearts all over it. And then I got this one down here, because this reminds me of Katina. Um, an orca who's very dear to my heart. Maybe I'll make a video talking about my complicated history and relationship with SeaWorld another time. Let me know if you'd like to hear about that. Um, but it reminds me of Katina because Katina is blue eyed. So, and that's it. That's my tiny little SeaWorld pin collection. I know it's uh, nothing extraordinary, but you know, maybe I'll get into my Disney pins one of these days but I just thought I'd start with this one it's short it's sweet there's not many SeaWorld pin videos out there so there you go thanks for listening